Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bula friends, my name is Les Yelly from the La Langa Toolbox and today we are going to continue our learning about what it means to be a great chief kaitiaki or the guardian of our planet. So we've done a lot of learning over the last few days, exploring some big ideas like learning about pollution and the different types of pollution that is impacting our planet. Pollution is a problem for us because it can make the air we breathe, the water we drink and the soil our plants grow in dirty and unsafe. It can make people and animals sick, so it's very important to stop pollution and keep our planet clean. Now it's important to know that pollution is mostly caused by humans like you and me. We cause pollution when we use too much plastic and don't recycle, when we waste water and we use cars and machines that release smoke. These are all ways we are adding pollution to our planet. There are three main types of pollution, air pollution, water pollution and soil pollution. Air pollution is when the air we breathe becomes dirty. This happens when smoke or tiny particles from cars, factories and even some everyday things like trucks, paints and sprays mix with the air that we breathe. Breathing dirty air can make people and animals sick. We have also been learning about sustainability. What is sustainability and why do we need to practice it? Sustainability is being a good guardian or carer of our planet Earth. It's about using things wisely, not wasting them and being careful not to harm our planet. When we're sustainable, we can keep enjoying all the amazing things our planet gives us like clean water, fresh air and lots of animals and plants. By looking after our planet, we're making sure it stays healthy and happy for a very long time so we can enjoy it for a long time. We've also been learning about technology and how technology is helping us to practice sustainability and care for our planet so we can enjoy it for a very long time. So there are four main reasons why we are using technology to become more sustainable or to help us to look after our planet. Let's go over them now. Protecting nature. Technology helps us to find ways to use energy without harming nature. For example, we have solar panels that use sunlight to create energy instead of burning things that create smoke and pollution. Saving resources. Our planet has limited resources. Remember yesterday when we talked about the difference between infinite and finite resources like coal and oil? If we use them all up, there won't be any left for the future. So we use technology to find renewable resources like the sun and wind because these resources won't run out so we can use them forever. Being clean and green. Technology helps us make things like cars, buildings and gadgets in a way that doesn't harm the environment. This means using less energy, recycling more and just being mindful of how we impact nature. Solving problems. Smart technology and inventions help us to solve big problems like how to clean up our oceans, how to grow food without harming the land and how to make sure everyone has clean water to drink. Technology gives us new ideas and creative ideas and solutions to help us look after our planet. And we've also been learning about the different ideas and solutions or rules that our council and government has put into place to help us to care for our planet so we can enjoy it for a very long time. Here's some rules or ideas or solutions that we are encouraged to practice to help us to take care of our planet. Let's talk about rubbish or waste and recycling. We are encouraged to separate our rubbish into different groups or different bins. For example, our recycling goes in this bin and our waste or rubbish goes in this bin. Now let's talk about plastic. As you know, plastic is a huge pollutant and recently we had a big change around plastic where New Zealand banned plastic bags. In 2019, New Zealand made a rule that supermarkets couldn't give out plastic bags anymore. This was because plastic bags are bad for the environment and our planet and the government wanted people to use reusable bags instead. So if you go shopping in New Zealand, you'll need to bring your own bag or buy a reusable one at the store. A few weeks ago, we had a big problem happen in Auckland that I want to share with you. It affected our waterways, our beaches, and I want to share it with you to encourage you to take social action or action to help us to become great guardians of our planet and to improve and fix this problem. A few weeks ago, there was a big problem that happened in Auckland's Waitemata Harbour. There was a huge sewage leak that happened. 
The sewage leak occurred because a hole appeared in a large underground pipe, bursting, causing a huge sinkhole and sewage to leak into our harbour. Fixing it has been a challenging task because the pipe is so deep underground. Watercare, who's in charge of fixing the problem, is working hard to repair it, but it may take some time. Auckland's Deputy Mayor fears lasting environmental problems as a result of the worst sewage spill she's seen in Tamaki Makoto. A concrete cannon to secure a sinkhole. This is where the earth imploded in Auckland. The pipe below collapsed, blocking the sewer and sending Parnell poo flowing into the Waitamata. A serious stinky mess that could have repercussions a whole lot bigger than just this hole in the ground. Since the sewage leak, millions of litres of raw sewage have been spilling into the harbour every second. More than 100 litres have been spilling into the harbour every second or almost 9 million of litres of sewage every day. No fishing or swimming has been able to take place in the harbour and the beaches affected include beaches that you might swim in like Mission Bay, St Heliers, North Shore beaches and Point Chevalier. Watercare estimated that it will take at least three days to fix, if not more. This has been a huge problem as the sewage pollution has made it unsafe for people to swim in or fish in affected areas, which has led to the closure of several beaches even during school holidays when many people want to enjoy them. A marine expert named Professor Tim Thrush explained that this sewage is seriously damaging marine life, especially in the quiet parts of the harbour. The sewage spill reduces oxygen in the water, which is really important for fish surviving and also other sea creatures. Without oxygen, these animals might not be able to live. So friends, we need your help. Today's activity is about helping you to take social action or to do something to help us to fix this sewage leak. Our activity is around helping you to write a letter to the Mayor of Auckland asking him to do something to fix the sewage leak so we can enjoy our beaches over the summer and also our planet forever. So that brings us to the end of our learning. We hope you have had a wonderful time exploring all the big ideas that we've been exploring over the week about what it means to be a great chief kaitiaki of our planet, sustainability and why it's important and some of the problems that are impacting our planet and also the technology that we're using to help us to become more sustainable. Now remember, part of being a kaitiaki of our planet is about helping to protect it so that we can enjoy it for a very long time. Have a great week everyone, bye. I'll do whatever it takes to stay focused on my goal and learn from my